Yep. Here we go. This is Eddie with Mobile Homestead Solar Services, and here we are in Rush Songer, Rush and Lola Songer's RV, their newer one, and this is their control systems that we have here. Um, they had an originally, they had the 2025 uh, Trimetric uh, by Bogart Engineering, and we reinstalled this in, in this fifth wheel from their original fifth wheel. Um, this is the one thing that I recommend everybody getting before they even think about solar. If you're on a budget, you're only doing um, a little bit at a time, get a good monitor. The monitor is the, the gas gauge of your system. If you don't have this, you're not going to be able to tell how much is going in or how much is coming out of your battery bank. Um, building a battery bank and having one of these should be your, your first priority. If you can't afford um, a whole system being installed at once, this is uh, should be your top priority. And then with his system, we also have added two of these TriStar monitors. And um, the whole idea of having these monitors uh, is to pay attention to um, each one of the solar controllers. And he's running two solar controllers, so this will give him kind of a a health check of each one of the solar controllers. It gives them the information of exactly how much is coming out of each one of the um, arrays down to each one of the controllers because he has a, a separate, two separate systems in his, in his solar system. He has two separate arrays coming town and each one of these can tell him exactly how many amps he's getting from each side of the array. Um, like we were talking about before, if, um, if like with mine, he had some, uh, uh, I had some birds kind of cover one set of my panels and it reduced it and I was going through and I was checking mine. I have two also in mine and I learned that I need to get up there and clean my panels. Well, you don't normally notice that if you've just got a controller down in your basement and you have no way of seeing what kind of, of power you've got coming from your array. This will tell you, hey, I'm getting um, eight amps on one and I'm only getting three on the other. So you've either got something wrong with your system or the panels are covered or shaded or uh, or something's wrong with one of your controllers. So it's, it's a good way of checking this. You can also do equalization mode um, inside your cabin instead of having to go down and do it at the controller. So that way it, it's simplified. You can keep an eye on it while it's going through an equalization mode with these. Um, it's just another tool. If you're just a temporary part-time um, boondocker you're not using it that much it's not something that you need to invest into but if you're actually gonna live long stints off-grid um, this is something that will help you understand what you got coming in because you know when you set up a system like this and you're out um, off-grid for more than just a couple of days you're your own electrical electrical engineer you're the one that's gonna um, see what you're harvesting that way you can know how much you can use out of your out of your bank. These actually tell you what's coming down, what you're harvesting. This will tell you what's going in and what's coming out of your battery bank. So like I said, this is your gas gauge and this just shows you what you're bringing in. Um, and his system, this is more of a necessity, um, but this is a necessity for any system in my opinion. Um, it doesn't have to be a Bogart Engineering Trimetric, but I recommend these above any of them because I've had nothing but good luck. I've never heard a bad review on these, have you? No. No, mm -hmm. those are good deals. And uh, this is his way of, of checking and, and seeing how his system's working. And we put it in a spot where he can check it, whether he's first thing in the morning or if he's down in the dining area. But uh, placement of, of the Trimetric is kind of important in the cabin. You don't want to stick it somewhere where you can't see it. You want it where you can actually pay attention to what your percentage is. And the good thing about this one is uh, Rush and I are gadget guys, so we can play around with the gadgets. Um, but uh, uh, somebody that doesn't, their wife doesn't want to understand or doesn't understand the electrical side of it. When you go by just the voltage, nobody really wants to have to do that all the time or just by the amps coming in and amps coming out the easy thing about this system is you can go over here and kick to this that's your percent of battery full that's that's the wondrous thing about these battery monitors is you can go to this and say okay i've got a hundred percent well the wife could go in or whoever's using it and use the microwave for a little while and then find out hey you know what 
Uh, I used the microwave when we went from 100% down to 96. Maybe we ought not use it that much. So that's a way of learning how to use your system and not deplete it. I've heard of people that didn't have a battery monitor and they'll, they'll smoke their batteries and they can't figure out what the problem is. Well, they don't have any way of knowing how much they had in the first place. They've got a, um, a lot of the Class A's they put out nowadays. They, they have Magnum inverters. They have a battery monitor kit in there, but the problem with the battery monitor kit in the, um, the remote for the Magnum is it's kind of compli it's not super complicated, but for someone that doesn't want to have to deal with it, um, it's a little hard to go through and understand, and you have to go to it. Whereas you can leave this one on like this. The whole purpose of this unit is to do what it's doing right now is to tell you what's going in, what's coming out of this It's battery. a play toy. Yeah, it's a play toy. <laughs> and you can't wear it out. Rush and Lola's oh. tried to do it, and I've yeah. tried to do it. And this thing looks brand new. And it's been in here for a year, and I guarantee you that button right there has been pushed probably a million and one at times. At least. At least. And ours is twice that much. But the, the, the thing about this over the Magnum one, the Magnum one's a good one. It really reads it by a shunt the same way. The only difference is, is it's a little more complicated and the screen's smaller and this you don't even have to have your glasses on uh rush wears glasses yeah, and he yeah. comes by and looks at it and you don't have to have his glasses on when he sees it and so it's a quick reminder of what your percentage is in your battery so it's perfect for somebody that's doing a little cooking and then come over here and look at it from a distance you have to get up onto that magnum monitor and the magnum like i said is a really good uh measuring system but I've heard a lot of people that didn't even know they had that option in their Class A. And they're running on generator power. Um, they run their inverter. Uh, they don't have any solar. A lot of them are set up ready. All you have to do is add the solar to them, the Class A's. But they'd run their inverter. They'd burn, you know, burn their batteries down to nothing too many times. And then they smoke the batteries because they didn't know what was going in and what's coming out of their battery banks. And, and it was too complicated to go through their Magnum to one, the ones that had the BMK, the battery monitor kit added to it. They didn't really understand how to, to go through that. So this is very simplistic. It's easy. I mean, you know, you've got your battery one, it tells you the voltage, and then it tells you the, the amperage. Of and this is this a little is a, green. Oops, let me interrupt. The little green lights lit up where you can see on here yeah. so each position. That is your charging also up here. This is showing that he's getting a charge going into his battery bank, and it also you can also set battery uh, reminders. Um, I don't normally set that up. Some people like it set up, and and that's that's an option you can have on this. But you can have two battery banks, but because he has these two TriStar uh, remote meters, we just hooked it up to one because that's less wiring he has to worry about hooked up to his battery banks. Um, but you, you go from the battery one, um, which is your voltage, and then you can go to your amperage. Right now he is putting 11.8 into his bank. But if it was a minus, which you'll see the minus right in here when it does it, it will be taken out of the bank. So that, that, that's real simple. That shows you how many amps each individual item is as you're using it. And then you've got percentage. Anybody can work off a percentage. Um, we work on a 50 percentage on AGMs and on lead acid battery, deep cell lead acid batteries. When you work them with lithium, that's, that's a totally different set of rules that you have to work on that. But we'll take them down to 50%. So when you know you're getting close to the, that area, you can start being more conservative, but you can get kind of wild cardy until you get down to your 70s and 60s. So that's that's the whole purpose of this. This this makes it so simplistic to be able to use this system. Yeah, yeah. Very simple. Lola and I can do it. Anybody can do it. Yeah, <laughs> you guys yeah. are doing pretty good. This is actually their second system, but because of the choice of components, they could take their solar array, which was four uh, Kerosene 140 uh, watt panels, and put them onto this camper because they're they're good enough to be able to remount. Um, we took his extra controller. We run two controllers in his, and the reason we have two solar controllers in his mainly is because didn't want to waste the first one. It was only a year old. So we duplicated it and had uh, a two system. They call it a stacked system or parallel on, on both of the controllers. And we add to his, his batteries so that enlarged his system. 
mainly reason we enlarged it was because he has a residential refrigerator now. So it's a, a parasitic load. It's over a period of time it's going to draw, uh, no matter what, a certain amount of, of energy out of his system. So we want to make sure his system's big enough that he didn't get into that danger zone all the time. Uh, I've been around a couple people that, that have um, uh, the residential refrigerators, and they've they're really on the 50% all the time because of that refrigerator. So we wanted to make sure he didn't have that problem. And uh, and I think he's happy with it. Yeah, I'm very happy. Oh, yeah. Tickled to death. Looking for the future boondocking experience. Yeah, we're going to have to get him out west. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Until next time.